Hello guys. Right, we must be best part of 300 miles in today. And we've, oh, excuse the flies. We've pulled over area to service, so paddle, took out of that. Excellent, another one of these service areas. So you have fresh water on the other side of that. You dump your WC in there. You put your grey waste just down the drain there. Yeah. Superb. You'll have to park anywhere alone here. And you can spend the night here. Obviously it's not very nice, but if you're just literally, we're five minutes off the motorway. And there's a little town centre there, might be yeah. worth a little wander. There is a lovely little town centre actually. It's very pretty. Might have been there. Yeah, so, cool. Right, let's get this done. The horrible bit. <laughs> That's the toilet done. Um, Lucy's searched and found a supermarket that's half a kilometre, 500 metres, you've just got to walk down that way, cross the bridge, excuse me, and you're virtually there. So she's going to go off shopping to get the supplies for the night, so we will be fully sorted, toilet emptied, full of water, fully powered up because of the run in the van, and new supplies. And to be honest, um, a stop like this, you're looking at, what, 10 minutes, really, to get it all done, 10, 15 minutes? It's brilliant. It, it's absolutely brilliant. And Marley, Gets to fetch a ball. Or just look at it and watch it roll off. Yeah. And then he'll hobble and look at him and go, look, look, old man. <laughs> look, there he is hobbling away. Um, yeah, I can hold the passports if you want. Documents here. Okay. Right. Including Marley's doggy passport. Yeah, because yeah, in case I get mugged and thrown in the river. Okay, yeah. that's cool. All right. Well, you're insured, so don't worry. Me and the kids will be all right. Yeah, you've got plenty of money. All right. <laughs> okay, put me on speed dial. Alright. Here's a great example of how this little gadget comes in handy. Stuff your hose in that end, squeeze it on there. Amazing. The simplest little things make your life so much easier. Let's check what the water is. Oh, two thirds. Emptied the uh, waste tank. Water tank's two thirds full. So, carry on filling. Batteries, all good. Little moment of panic there. My phone started ringing, it was Lucy, so uh, she left her shopping list in the back of the van. <laughs> so she's at the supermarket, happy days. And I have nearly filled up the barrel in the back. So, what do you reckon, C3PO? We all done? Cheers, Jackie Kennedy. Was it a successful trip, my love? Mm, partially. Partially, oh dear. It didn't have any Toblerones. God damn. There was a, a few things that didn't happen. Oh, never mind. And there we go. 1,800 miles down. Doing well. Well, here we are. After a, oh, someone's texting us. After a little detour, we tried the first park for night place, which happened to be a Weybridge area, which was fine. It was really nice up on a hill overlooking the valleys. But it was a public toilet area. <laughs> I mean, all, every lorry driver and his auntie's done his business there. It was disgusting. So we didn't even get out of the van. We did a U-turn, put another search in. Um, we ended up coming off the motorway, going in a different direction to find this place. Now, the road is just there, but it's not a busy road at all. That's just a totally dead industrial area at the moment. And there's the van. But... Quite a peaceful spot actually. About 300 miles today, nothing major, but nice to take a big chunk of the journey. Yeah, tea time. What's for dinner tonight, Lou? Nando's, Piri Piri meal kit, coconut chicken flavour. But we, it says to add chicken, sugar snap peas and sweet corn. I don't have sugar snap peas, I have green beans. Yeah. And instead of sweet corn, we're having salad. Oh. And it's a microwave rice. Yeah. Which is going to be boiled in its bag. <laughs> <laughs> no microwave on this band, but the wine is on the go. Cheers, darling. Oh, cheers. So, nice meal tomorrow night? I think so. I've, I've put somewhere. in a nice location on the, on the edge of a, a nice town. Okay. Oh, good. And there's a municipal area about a mile from it as well. So we can go and empty and fill yeah. up and, oh, excellent, have a shower before we go out for a meal. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Dinner is served. Piri Piri chicken, and what's that sauce? It's a Piri Piri drizzle to put over the sweet corn that doesn't exist. OK, so we'll put it on the salad, eh? Yeah, or you can, or you can have aioli. Aioli? Oh, garlic. 
Sounds nice. Okay. Mm -mm. Lovely mm -hmm. jubbly. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Who says that? Right. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Yeah, we're going to eat. See you later. Good morning, welcome to Tuesday morning. And last night we went to bed on our own. I woke up this morning, walked out the camper. I have never slept like I do in a camper. God. I am the lightest sleeper in the world. I wake up, everything wakes me up. You know the story about Lucy snoring in the tents. So to have these two guys turn up and me not even notice, shocking. One of them got here at three in the morning. The other one got here just gone midnight. They're from southern Spain. They've driven 10 hours and they met up at this point. They're carrying on to northern France and Luxembourg, Belgium. But yeah, lovely people. But what a surprise to wake up to neighbours. Didn't even know they were there. Just started spitting. First rain of the holiday. We're due a bit of rain today. And to be honest, as I'm driving and the van is, it doesn't look it from here, but it is absolutely filthy. It is coated in a layer of dust. I can show you the. You can sort of see the back of this. Oh yeah, did I show you our latest sticker? This vehicle made the Keswick run in less than 12 parsecs. <laughs> so, oh god, he started already. I'm not throwing it, mate. Come on, look at your nose. So, tea's on. Get some breakfast and then hit the road again, I guess. All right, let's get on with it. Okay guys, that's where we parked, where we've left our Spanish friends. That was the river. We are back on the road. So, we're going to make it to at least Bordeaux today. It's only another way bridge there. Eh? Well, another way bridge, yeah. Lots of them around there. A yeah, bit of a, like a, a, almost like a retirement village where we stayed last night. Every person was, well, over 70 to be honest with you. So, yeah, very, very peaceful dry the summer's been. Okay, let's hit the road. We will catch up with you later. Hello guys, right, we are just outside Bordeaux. We've, uh, we're gonna go to a services just to empty the toilet and stuff like that. Um, but on the way we pass this, which is a proper supermarket, thank heavens. So we'll get some proper meat to cook tonight instead of chili and rice. Marley's doing very well, aren't you mate? Ignoring me. So, Lucy's off shopping. I've taken the dog round the block and uh, emptied all the rubbish out of the van. So, we will see you when we hit the next park up, I suppose, because it's not far from here, but we're gonna obviously empty the toilet cassette and stuff like that first. We've got plenty of water still on board. We hardly used any last night. So, catch up with you later. Hello, guys. Right, from the supermarket to the service area. This is it. Toilet emptied, filled, wastewater gone, and tanks filled up, but look, Cirque Mondial. This is a circus is in town. You would not believe the size of this circus. The hardware they've got is unbelievable. It goes all around the corner. There's llamas out on leads over there. It's quite something. This is. Uh, they must have finished the summer tour, I'm assuming, and this is where they're having a good rest. But uh, everything's in really good condition. Perfectly new and well looked after. So, there is madam, we are going to find the rest spot. Hello guys, well, we are here in this beautiful little town square church car park. But there's toilets, and it's beautiful, it's so quiet, lovely church there. And there's a restaurant, and we thought, ah, oh, brilliant, I said to Lou, I'll buy you dinner as soon as we pulled in. 
but it opens tomorrow. It's closed Mondays and Tuesdays. I was going to buy a nice fillet steak. Talking of uh, eating, Marley's eating our fresco tonight. Aren't you, mister? Is that nice? <laughs> so we're going to have steak, but Lucy's got to cook it. <laughs> so I said uh, I'll buy her dinner another night. I promised. Okay, we're going to settle up her, sorry, settle down and set everything up. See you in a little while. Oh, a couple of lovely sirloins. Beautiful. It's a big sirloin, isn't it? Salads are ready to go. And Marley wants his ball throwing. Good thing about it. These places, oh, excuse me, so they're so quiet. No one minds. So just chuck a ball for the dog. A limpy old man, look at him, look. not as quick as he used to be, is he? You can see, look, he's stiff, look, he's got that limp. Bless him. Well, what can you say about that? Peppercorn sauce, steak, new potatoes. Potato and ham salad, salad, gorgeous. Oh, and garlic, gorgeous. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Cheers. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Good morning guys, excuse the helicopter going overhead. Morning Marley. Here he is, ball in hand, in mouth. So, it's now Wednesday morning and today is the day we start looking for a vet for Marley. We have to get him wormed, um, because, uh, tapewormed, because the tapeworm can carry rabies whereas he can't. Can you old man? No. So, we have to get him treated a minimum of 24 hours before we get on the ferry and within five days so the treatment is current so we're thinking of popping into Bordeaux today um, we've looked up a few vets and this one seems particularly helpful and they look like they'll let you in and just do it there and then you know so we're gonna give that a go today we're about an hour and a half from Bordeaux I was a little bit further than I thought last night um, so we're gonna have some breakfast say good morning to Lucy morning Lou good morning you all right mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to leave this beautiful, beautiful church square. I mean, look at this. Look at the way they've done the trees and everything. It's beautiful. So, we're going to uh, get some breakfast, then head off to Bordeaux. We'll catch up with you in a little while. Morning, guys. Right. We've booked Marley into a vet in Bordeaux, but we couldn't get the appointment till 5 o'clock. And as we're only, well, 45 minutes away from the vets, We've got a bit of time to kill, so we're going to try another vet um, and see if we can have a walk-in. And if not, we'll stick to the original time or we'll cancel it, but we're leaving this beautiful park up. If I grab the camera off Lucy. I mean, this place is lovely. Look how it's well looked after. That's where we were, just there, underneath these trees. It's beautiful, so yeah, lovely little town, this one. Um, so we're going to head to Bordeaux, try this other vets, and we will catch up with you on the road. Well, that was unlucky. We were literally just driving 10 minutes from where we were parked. And this is a huge vet that isn't on Google. And there's a big sign and we pulled in and the bloody place is closed on Wednesdays. Wednesdays? Never mind. So off to the next one. Hello, guys. Right, well, we tried two vets on the off chance um, before our five o'clock booking, just in case we could do a walk-in which of course one was closed and the other one they couldn't do it till funnily enough five o'clock today so Bordeaux we're at the town where the vet is um, at five o'clock <laughs> here's, here's the van we're in another park up place as you can see there's one over there but we are going to just go and have a coffee near the vets and uh, have a sit down Billette. This is Billette. oh Bill and Billy mm -hmm. Billette or Belliot Berlin Belliet. It's lovely though. Something like that, you know what my pronunciation's like. This would have been a nice overnight. Yeah, this would have been a nice overnight, actually. There's a park all over this field, apparently. 
Yeah, and you, you're allowed to park anywhere you want on this field. Which is bizarre. Brilliant. Okay, off for a coffee. Lovely church. Marley doesn't know he's going for the vet today. <laughs> what if he tries to drag us out the door? <laughs> and here we are at the vets. Nice looking bets. Mm -hmm. You excited, Marley? Uh, right. door, I'm going to turn the camera off now. And let's get this sorted. Well, that's us all done. Marley had an examination. He, uh, he had a thermometer up his bum, didn't you? <laughs> and uh, he was given his wormer. They just plopped it on the floor and. Uh, he ate it like a treat. So, and it all costs 30 euros. So, if you are bring, thinking of bringing a dog, um, it is really no hassle at all. Just find a vet, make That's an appointment. Thing. If you're travelling and your, your days are restricted, phone a day ahead. Yes, yeah, yeah. Make appointment a day ahead, definitely, for ease. But, oh, he's having a wee in celebration. So, healthy dog, wormed, we're free to go home. No hassle. So we're going to hit the road for a while. See you later. Hello guys. Well, after getting Marley sorted, we uh, got stuck at Bordeaux. There was a big accident and we sat there for hours and hours in the traffic. So we're pushing on. We've just stopped and had dinner. We're only, what, 30 miles north of Bordeaux? Yeah. About 30 miles north of Bordeaux. So we're going to push on a bit. And I was just about to show you the beautiful sunset, but <laughs> the trees, the trees yeah. have hidden it all now. In the distance, it's absolutely gorgeous on the horizon. If I get another glimpse of it, I'll uh, let you know. But we're pushing on for about another hour till half nine, ten o'clock at night tonight. Good morning and welcome to Thursday morning. We uh, we pulled off the A10. The A10's just literally there. We're at this air, air de, de ville, I think it's called. But in this play area over here, we noticed hundreds of mice running about this morning. When I mean hundreds, I mean hundreds and hundreds. So I came and had a look over here. Look at the floor. Look at the mouse holes. It's like a mouse motorway. You can see all the runs leading from one run to another. Every single line on the ground is a mouse track. I have never seen so many mice in one place. They literally pop out the hole, carry on, like say that line there, like it's an autobahn. Boom, straight in the next hole. And as soon as I walk away from here, they pop out the ground and then disappear again. They're amazing, aren't they, Lou? I've never seen so many. Oh, we're going to bang out some miles today. We sort of don't like, I don't like banging around in mid-France. I've always used France as a transit, really, the, the centre of France, so... Mister's enjoying himself. After his vet treatment, you could tell that worked after he, uh, well, let's just say he emptied himself this morning. Didn't you? <laughs> Okay, we're going to get washed up and hit the road. I'll get back to you then. So this is the services with the very still wind farm that we stayed at on the second night, on the Saturday night, the first proper night of the journey. Huh. Seems like an age ago now. Well, this is the biggest payage yet. Monster. Monster, isn't it? Yeah. Busy road heading to Paris. Just south of Paris here. A lot of traffic. And from the beautiful views to the horrible skyline of the outskirts of Paris, I'm not a fan. I've never been a fan of driving around Paris either. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Yesterday we braved Paris and what a nightmare that was. The traffic at rush hour was horrendous, as it always is. I can't stand Paris as in driving it. I can't stand the periphery or the inner periphery or any of it. It's just like driving in London. You get nowhere fast. So we queued for hours. And so we thought we'd put a little stint on. We got about 40 miles north of Paris 
and our ferry isn't till tomorrow afternoon so we've decided that we're going to go and have a look at Belgium um, not sure why because the towns are lovely but it's not a great deal in Belgium it's just brown really isn't it but um, yeah we're going to go and have a look there get another country under Marley's belt um, and kill 24 hours really so welcome to Friday the penultimate day of our holiday we've had breakfast we stayed morning morning yeah we stayed uh, in the quiet area of the services of an air um, apart from you've got the, the the channel tunnel train what's it called the Eurostar flying by I think if it isn't it's one hell of a quick train um, didn't wake us up at all absolutely slept like the dead as usual as I have done every single night this holiday but we got up at around seven just before seven we've had breakfast and we're going to hit the road and hopefully we'll get to belgium in a couple of hours two two and a half hours two hours and just settle down there for the day so see you later hey. we're in belgium <laughs> Just gone past Antwerp. I can't find anything I particularly like on park for a night round here. So yeah. I have found one that's just inside the border of Holland. Well then let's go to Holland. Hey. <laughs> well we uh, may as well just keep driving and we and then drive back oh, well, tomorrow. Yeah. So I've seen a, a nice one that's got a man-made beach and a little park just outside of Eindhoven, so maybe we're going to Eindhoven for dinner and then camp there. What do you reckon? Eindhoven it is. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Welcome to Holland. Good afternoon. It's uh, now just gone Friday lunchtime and uh, welcome to Holland. <laughs> we uh, reached Belgium and thought oh, we may as well just carry on driving. So we've ended up in Eindhoven. And as you can see, Completely different. We've just found somewhere nice to park. Yeah, we found a good place to leave the van and we're just uh, going to find a cash point. And then maybe have a meal or something like that. But, uh, that's quite nice to be in a city because I quite like Eindhoven. We've been here before, as Lucy said earlier, we, we, we came here in the camper about I think the second week or the, the weekend after we got it to give it a good test. That's when we found out it was leaking. Well, he's having a wee. So, uh, yeah. Great to get, great to pass through another country. Well, no, great to get another country on the list for Mali. So uh, the miles are certainly clocking up. Uh, this will be a 3,000 mile trip by the time we're back. So we're going to have a mooch around uh, Eindhoven, and I'll speak to you later. It's amazing with Google and mobile phones now, really, because uh, you can just <laughs> pick a cash point, and it takes you through all the back streets local knowledge at your fingertips brilliant right we've headed out of town and we are heading for a park for night spot and this looks good so far pretty hopeful about this well apparently we've arrived and this looks a bit swanky for a freebie doesn't it Big beach club. There's said a, something about going through the gates and parking on the grass, but the restaurant. oh, there's look, there's camper vans. Oh, down there's there. campers down there. Look, oh, awesome! It's pretty, isn't it? And we've got to drive through these gates. Do we let ourselves through? Oh. I still can't believe this is free. <laughs> I'm still nervous. I'm waiting for someone to come and give me a bill. But this is amazing. Look, we'll walk up to the restaurant, and speak to them. Lakes either side. This is great. Yeah, this is something else. After all, it would seem this is free. You can, you're welcome to park here overnight for free, um, which a lot of people do. This is out of season, so I imagine it gets packed. Up here is, uh, it's like a, what is it? A beach club, beach yeah. house, they call it, isn't it. And they've got their own private beach, and there's a bar and restaurant in there that does food, which is open. We're gonna go and get something to eat now, but still can't believe this is free. It's such a lovely place. You can swim, it's a freshwater swimming lake. Absolutely brilliant, eh? So, we're leaving the van there for a little while and we're going to go to the restaurant and have something to eat. Okay, so this is a clubhouse where we're going to go for, for dinner. Oh, unbelievable. 
just spoke to a Dutch guy there he is walking across the field and he just said it's one of his favourite places it's really relaxed and chilled here so yeah I can't believe this is free I just can't I'm glad we found it because I was thinking we were parking up in the city and I was yeah. like oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah the uh, the park up in the city is just a park and ride it's okay it serves a purpose and it's safe but it's not pretty this is lovely the last night of our holes mm, and it's going to be a lovely chilled out one cool Right, I'm going to put this camera away, let's get some dinner. Well, what a lovely meal that was. We had both had schnitzel. Schnitzel? It's basic menu, but it's lovely food, and it's not that expensive either. And here we go, more campers turning up, look, um, to this free, unbelievably good free spot. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Here he is. Oh, it's lovely and cool in here. Perfect. Yeah. Hello, mister. Hello, Marley. <laughs> Hello, buddy. You're right. There you go. 45 minutes, mate. That's it. Oh, and throw the stick. Is that it? Just, is that it? You just want me to throw a stick. There you go. That's how bothered he was. <laughs> right. Ah, more wine. Chill out. This is fantastic, this place. Morning guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Holland. It's now Saturday morning. Um, oh, it's got about quarter past eight, something like that. I got up at seven. I wanted to make the most of my last morning in this lovely place. Excuse the motorway noise, it's rush hour. But at the moment, it was silent last night. Um, yeah, so our holidays come to an end. Um, we've got to head back to Calais. We haven't got a hurry, spend a couple of hours here. Uh, and then head back, sadly. Um, sorry I didn't do any more recording last night, but uh, yeah, we, we received some sad news that we lost a family member last night, so there was lots of phone calls and lots of tears. <laughs> um, the kids lost their granddad, so it's a sad day. So we have to go back and start sorting all that out, no doubt. Um, well, Lucy does, to be honest. But yeah, sad. He was a lovely, lovely old fella. Okay, I'm going to sit here, drink my coffee, take in this beautiful view, throw a stick for my uh, relentless dog, that's the only name for him. He's just sat here, I'll turn you around, look, there he is. Morning Marley. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to sit here, chill out for a while, and we'll catch up with you later. You're a good lad, eh? Hey? My mate Marley. Yeah. Right. Right, last checks. I'm just checking the windows closed and all that. Okay. Mr. Marley's ready for the off in his position with his pillow. Lovely temperature. So guys, we're off. Long journey home now and uh, until we get to the ferry, so we better get a wriggle on. Literally five minutes on the road, we're back in Belgium. And back to reality. 
Well, biscuits, <laughs> cup of tea. All right, guys. Well, we made it through customs. They just give him a check. Check his um, check his passport's been stamped like we had done at the vets, and he's been wormed. And they checked his uh, chip in the back the of his neck. Yeah. Give us a certificate, um, and that's it. So we are at Calais, and my coffee's on over there. And Lucy's got a cup of tea. So now only oh, 110 miles after the ferry trip, and uh, we'll be back home. So this has been one heck of a journey, hasn't it, love? Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant road trip. We've already done more than 3,000 miles. Uh, yeah, yeah, over 3,000 miles now. So 3,100 miles odd when we get home. So guys, I will see you on the next one. Sorry this has been a bit different. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. I hope it's been good, but uh, we will see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.